Okay, so let's jump on in to a real world example using sum and difference. So I have an alternating current, I, in amperes. This is just a unit. You don't have to know what amperes is. You just have to know that that's a unit. In a certain circuit can be found after t seconds using the formula I is equal to 4 sine 255 times t. Where t is a degree measure, rewrite the formula in terms of the sum of two angles. So they've told me what, they, what unit they want. They want it in degrees, and I have to rewrite it in the sum of two angles. Well, sum of two angles, hey, those are sum identities. I know those. So let's break this up. Okay, important information, important information, important information, and what I'm solving for. Uh, I should have probably mentioned that T was in seconds. I should have highlighted that as well. But let's break this down. E has a unit of amperes. T is a unit of seconds. I have a formula. And I know that I am finding this where 255 is a degree measure. So I know 255 is in degrees. That's not a radian. So I get to use my sum identity and finish it up from there. So if I write it all out separately, ignoring all of the other stuff, it becomes a little bit easier to bite size, chew up and chunk down. So let's do this. I need to make sure that they make sense on the unit circle, so I'm not just gonna deal with 255 in any way, shape, or form. They have to be values that came from the unit circle. I happen to pick 210 and 45. I put it on you to see, are there any two angles that can give get me to 255 that aren't 210 and 45? Could you find a different method? And that's okay if you found a different method. So I split it up into this, and I end up, and I. Uh, just a note, I didn't forget the T. The T belongs to this whole thing. So 255 T can be broken up into this. Think about working it backwards. Could you add those variables together? Yes, you could. So now since I have this information, I can go ahead and say that that's my answer. That's it. That's all it wanted me to do, right? So I'm done. Ta-da. But what if it wanted me to use that identity to find it after just one second? So I use the same information. I create my, uh, I create my sum identity. Well, we already did that in example 2a. And now I plug in for t is equal to 1. Well, 210 times 1 and 45 times, 10, times 1 happens to be just itself. So we got nice and lucky. That becomes the sum identity. So I split them up. Because this is on the unit circle, and this is on the unit circle, and this is on the unit circle, and this is on the unit circle, I can get those four very quickly. Uh, I converted it to radians so that I could use the hand trick. You don't have to do it that way. You could have used the unit circle. You could have used your quadrant one. You could have figured it out how you wanted to figure it out. So I plug those in. Again, multiply and add your fractions correctly here. Otherwise, you make a mistake. So I do multiplication first. Now I have a least common denominator and I put those buddies together. Look what happens to those fours. Nice and easy, they disappear. And that is my end answer. Because it's a word problem, I rewrite it in sentence form. The exact current after one second is negative square root of two minus the square root of six amperes. Then you're done. So you have a question. Um, you have a question, so go ahead and work on it.